back out. This time, just another walk. Long one, this, uh, I've done this a few times. I'm not sure if I've ever filmed this walk before, but I've been doing it for about 10 years, coming around here. Anyway, just thought I'd say, there's a lot of uh, negativity at the minute. With comments on YouTube and like that video that I posted about the horse running into the traffic light. That wasn't meant to cause offence. It was just like, look at this. Anyway, whatever. So I thought I'd just inject a little bit of positivity around. No rants, no twisting on about things. Just a nice walk. Um, I think everybody's got a bit, gone a bit stir crazy, haven't they? Cabin fever setting in. But um, yeah, I've deleted, I've deleted all my negative stuff. There's no point really. Everybody's in the same boat. We'll all be out soon. Good advice is go for a walk, go for a nice walk. Just find somewhere on your doorstep. Get yourself out, do a good 10 mile. I think that's what I'm gonna to do today, at nine anyway. Just in the rolling hills of the Deviates. You know, the, the car parks are open, but it was, um, it's normally pain display, it's normally two pound, but it was free. <laughs> Boosh. Little spring lambs there. Everybody's missed all the lambs, haven't they? All right. Anyway. It's a nice, nice place. This, I like this place. Well, there's plenty of forests and that up there. Right, like I say, Bit happier video there, eh? no, no arguments and ranting on and all that. Let's just be nice. Here we can. Yeah, there is pretty dangerous plant. Everybody knows this. Foxglove or digitalis. It's a, um, I don't know which part of the plant is dangerous, but if you watch um, James Bond, Casino Royale, the new one, or the newish one, because there was two, wasn't there? Um, and when he goes, he's in the casino, and he takes ill, and he goes rushing off to his car, which has miraculously got a defibrillator in it. He, um, he transfers his blood specimen to MI6 headquarters and they tell him it's digitalis, which has got him poisoned. So it must stop your heart. Just don't touch them like that's, <laughs> that's the best advice. Anyway, I'm a mile in already. I'm still on the road. It's the only problem this first bit of the road. Turning off soon up into the hills up there. Ooh. Well, I'm at the top of the hill, which leads down into the valley, and then I'll go along. Oh, I can't really see along the side, round that, round that hill, and up the back of it, you know, up over that way. It's a good hike, that, that long bit there, that long drag up to the second top hill. Is, oh, it's, it's hard, it's it's long, it's boring and it's steep. But it's only about a mile and a half, two mile maybe. Using my video camera today, hopefully that wind isn't being picked up too much. Got the muffle on. But aye, uh, it's nice welcome breeze actually, because it's really hot. This is the view. The, I, don't know, I don't know the name of it. The Hard Hope Valley, I don't know. I'll have to check. Been coming here long enough, you'd think I'd know, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I'm heading up over, right over into them hills up there. Woo! Right, go down this bit. Coming here and the snow is fun. Coming down this hill here. Me and my mate, a few years back in the snow. 
number of polythene bags and we slid down on the bags and it, it really steep so we couldn't stop <laughs> it ended up rolling had a massive crash and he crashed into it I wish I'd filmed that, that was funny anyway here we're going, down the hill we stop for a sandwich soon poor old weasel poor old cat weasel oh, always fancied Bivian down here but there's really nowhere to sit we could uh, there's like around that corner there's a little grassy bit but it's not there's not a lot of room probably end up rolling into that river I've just come down that hill there it's hard on the knees coming down I think I prefer going up hill fitness is not bad I, I'm usually hanging by now on this walk I'm feeling all right so ugh, all them long walks must have been paying off I've never been out for a week been working. Oh, the gate, the gate. Right. And then, every, have you noticed every gate is a different, like a different latch on it? It's like a little quiz, isn't it? They do that. They use, they put different latches on the gates because it's, um, it's tradition in the countryside to try and trick people. So they put the different latches on so you can't get through the gate. All right. And if you can't get through, you've got to turn back. Oh, this isn't gonna fall in here. That oh, looks loose. Oh, I'm over. I'll never know how I got across there, like, that was lethal. Yeah, around, around the side. It's a bit overgrown, isn't it? That's mint, that's water mint. That leaf there. Water mint. Some people, like me, I call it Dennis. And so I was sitting there, had me break. Just a quick one, just a quick little stop over. I love this, this place. I always stop here, you can see why. Ooh, now the hard bit. So we we'll go up this hill here, over there. There's a path that goes all the way for about three miles, just up into those hills. So that's a bit boring. That I'll do a bit. I'll film a bit when I'm near the end, just to show you how long the path is. Here's another gate. Look, another flipping conundrum. Ugh. <laughs> I think it might actually be the same as the last one. There's people here. Having a picnic. Nice place to stop like. No overnight though. I'm sure they won't be staying overnight. Alright, I'm way up there. This is where it starts getting hard. You can't beat a bit of bully. Look at him sitting there proudly with these ladies. Yeah. You just stop there. I haven't got the energy to run away. Hey, this is the begin. All the way here for miles and miles. Whew, I'm already knackered. First bit's a bit steep. Not really usually worried about cows, but I've had trouble with these ones before. They're a bit feral. So just keep them out well away from them. <laughs> Ran up there like right down the bottom in that valley that's where I saw them cows. And the road just comes up here. It's relentless. But that's the hard bit done. I there's another little bit like that, but it's nothing like as long. Oh, some of these hills, 
up that one there is called Through Hill. 300 of metres, it. Over there is Shillop Law. Didn't he make cigarettes? Philip, oh no. But I'm not interested in any of that because I'm heading up towards Copper Snout. Cross over the top of Copper Snout, get on the, um, the forest track, go and see how the trees are getting on. They've replanted loads. Loads were taken, of course. When I first started coming here, it was just all forest. And then they were all knocked down. But they've replanted them, and I'm pretty sure some of them have grown really like they were before. Can't wait to find out. It's a long way off yet, though. It's right over there somewhere. It's another four mile out of nine. I think it's nine. It's about eight and a half or nine mile. Sometimes I do a little, I do a little detour. Um, but I'm just going to do the straight loop today. Just another gate. Look, what? It's open. And I'm through. Always close the gates unless they've been propped open. If there's a prop on them, that means the farm has opened it for a reason. You don't need to shut them then. But if you see open gate and it hasn't been propped, you should close it. Oh, right, it's next little bit. There is a hard bit left to come, all that. Right there. Right that path there. That's copper snout, that, that hill. Copper snout. It's got its name from the landowners because there used to be a toll up there and the police wanted a cup, uh, cut of the toll money for like the, the drovers that used to go through. And um, the landowner says, oh, I'm not gonna give the coppers an out. And, uh, well, that's where the name came from, really. Copper Snout. This is landowner, greedy landowner, giving the copper snout. Copper Snout. See? Facts, man. Proper true facts. This fella is Shillop Law. This is just marked as Inner Hill. It's probably got a nail. I haven't got the, um, I haven't got the OS square for that one. But that's still open law. I'll go up there one day, I'm yet to do that. I'm absolutely dripping with sweat. There's not a breath of wind. And it's really humid. Oh, I've walked for miles now. So I've just got this little bit here. And then up and then over there into them trees there. Woo! How are we? Keep going. I'm goosed. That's the hard bit like coming up that. Come all the way from over there. It's two miles of just just long track and it's all up, 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 up. But anyway, I'm at the top of, well, it's the highest point of Copper Snout because the whole thing runs all the way along here. That's all Copper Snout. Copper Snout. But this is the highest point. And look, you've got easy pitch a tent there. It's like all the sheep mess. You'd have to bring some gloves with you and hope that they're not around. And there's also cows come here sometimes. The cows are over there. I'm going over that way. I don't think I am actually. That's a Sophie Hill. There's a camp on there. I had a camp on there. One really cold night up there, like a couple of years ago now, I think. But it was all right, good views and that. And the stars came out, but oh God, it was cold. But I'm heading over there into them trees. They all look like they've grown back, don't they? Anyway, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back down that way and around the side here, because that way is boggy as out and I've only got my trail shoes on. So I'm gonna avoid the bog, avoid the cows as well. There's too many, there's loads of them. They've all got calves. I'm not taking any chances. Oh, anyway, let's go, let's go. Come all the way around, skirted around, 
looking back it looks like it was longer rather than the shortcut anyway I'm into the, the forest of terror this is a forest of terror this get it there's been some bad storms here and there there used to be big trees across the path put me off hammocking in here one of the fallen trees look at them all then I don't think I'd ever hammock in here. These trees are very unstable. Nonetheless, smell the pine. Ah, oh, it's nice. Nature. Somebody's been. Looks like somebody's been camping here. Left a nice bloody mess. Look at this man. What is wrong with people? I said I wasn't going to rant and rave, but look, man. Just walking down this road, it's looking more like it did. I think it must be 10, maybe 12 years when I first started coming here. These, all these were cut down and they've been replanted. They're all replanted. So they grow fast. <laughs> That's probably why they choose them. All oh, this was all bare. So, yeah, it's looking more like it did when I first started coming. This bit anyway. It's just tragic, isn't it? It's sad when you when see them all chopped down. And then they'll grow back. It'll be another 10 years before they start even thinking about harvesting these. So it's good. Jolly good. Right. It's more like it used to be. Remember when I first came here, I got lost because it was so dense. <laughs> I ended up taking the wrong path. Right. All that was all gone. Everything in there. Jolly good. I used to think these were monkey puzzle trees. I was used to think that's what they were. So I went over and had a look at them. Close up, they're just big Scots pines, I think. Big fir trees. It's the bot the bottom's a bit uh bedraggled. Anyway. Oh and the downward bit now it's path leads all the way down to the river where I'll be having my second break. I might even get my feet in the water because I'm so hot. Definitely have a wash. I'm sweaty. I'm really sweaty. Bring a towel, a little face towel next time. You can damp it in the water and then just rub your face with it. it keeps the sweat out of your eyes. I'm blind with the sweat in my eyes. All these have been replanted. This is good. All the other side over there was all trees and it's all gone, but and this as well was all chopped. And now they've brought it all back up there as well. That's all been replanted. Oh, I'm good, I'm glad to see it. Feel better, don't you, when you see them all growing back? Uh, Cush at law over there. One of them, or maybe that one. The cheevy it is. We're in that distance, aren't we? I'm down by the river. Um, this is the river Alwyn. Might have made that up, I don't know. I'm gonna have another stop. I've got some, uh, some more sandwiches in my crisps. And as a treat, yes, zing, sour edition, rhubarb rust dry sand. That's really, really refreshing. Lovely summer beer. This is, I'm having this just to annoy people. So if you've got a problem with uh, people drinking when they're out walking, I've got the bus here today, so I'm not driving. But that's what I'm having anyway. 
So I'm just going to sit here, maybe 10, 15 minutes. Just take it all in, the sound of that water. Alright. So that's been walked done and that's about nine miles. We just around in a big loop. So I'm gonna head just through them trees there. Just through them trees then. Up the side, cross up there and then back down to the village. And that's it. It's not much else to film. Apart from that lovely horse, it's nice isn't it? Oh, I came straight over as well. He's anti-social. Right, we'll see you for the next one. Remember, laugh and don't stress out and don't be negative if you can help it. I've had the worst two months. There's light at the end of the tunnel. So, you know, everything will be all right. Hope you've had a laugh on my little wander. That's it, I'm done. No more talking.